What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the weekly ranking show where we go through all the rankings from the ATP and the WTA. Also the race to the finals, which is heating up now after we've had our third Grand Slam of the year. Let's turn over to the WTA rankings for this week and we have some massive changes, but no changes at the top with Ash Barty. Now a Wimbledon champion. She's well and truly the world number one, stays at number one. Naomi Osaka stays at number two, but Simona Halep has dropped six spots, allowing a lot of changes from everybody else down below, including Sabalenka to get to world number three for the first time. So Sophia Kennan back up to number four. Andrescu also goes up two spots to number five, bumping down Spedalina, who couldn't back up the semi-final of Wimbledon back in 2019. She's gone down one spot to number six. Karolina Pleskova goes up to number seven, so she was outside the top 10 a couple of weeks ago. Now she's back in it with that final at Wimbledon. And Serena Williams has dropped down outside the top 10, dropping eight spots after retiring in her first round match this year at Wimbledon, losing a lot of points from the final she made two years ago. It's Fiontech, she goes up to number eight. Halep slots in at number nine. Again, the champion of two years ago, not being able to defend her title because of injury. Kvitova gets bumped out of the top 10 and Muguruza jumps into the top 10, going up two spots higher than last time. Heading over to the race to Shenzhen, the race to the WTA finals, which at this stage are still going ahead. Ash Barty stays at number one after winning Wimbledon. Arena Sabalenka goes up to number two with the French Open champion Krejcikova dropping down to number three. Naomi Osaka drops down two spots to number six with Sviontek going up to number four. And Karolina Pliskova, the Wimbledon finalist, goes up 15 spots, slotting in at number five, getting into the WTA race for the first time this year. Bumping down the likes of Osaka, who's at six, Muguruza, who's at seven, and Pavlichenkova, who drops down to number eight. Also, we have another new entry with Ons Jabor getting into the ninth spot, four spots higher than last week after her best result at a Grand Slam, making the quarterfinals of Wimbledon. So she slots in at number nine. Coco Goff stays at number 10, bumping out the likes of Sakari and Brady, who have both dropped out of the top 10 for the race to Shenzhen this week. Let's have a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings over the last couple of weeks after Wimbledon. We have Krejcikova, the French Open champion. She is at a career-high ranking 13 in the world, up four spots higher than last week after making the fourth round of Wimbledon. And also Tomjanovic, she's gone up 24 spots after making the quarterfinals of Wimbledon, eventually losing to the champion Barty. Her ranking's now at 51 in the world, which is a huge jump from last week. Some of the players that have dropped down on the WTA rankings, we have Joe Conta. She's dropped down seven spots to number 38 in the world after losing all the points that she made from the quarterfinals of Wimbledon in 2019. She didn't even play the tournament because of COVID, so she's dropped down. And also Zhang has dropped down 23 spots to number 60 in the world, also failing to make the quarterfinals that she did a couple of years ago. Heading over to the top 10 for the men this week, and there are some big changes to the top 10 as well for the men. The Wimbledon champion, Novak Djokovic, he's safe. He stays at number one. Daniel Medvedev stays at number two after a pretty good Wimbledon campaign himself. Rafa Nadal stays at number three despite not playing Wimbledon at all. So final City pass very close behind Rafa at number four, even after losing in the first round of Wimbledon last week. And then Dominic Team, he's gone down to number six with Alexander Zverev up to number five after Team also pulled out of Wimbledon with Zverev having a good result. So they've switched rankings there, but very close together. Rublev stays at number seven, and Roger Federer, he drops down to number nine with Matteo Berrettini, the finalist of Wimbledon, going up to number eight. Federer, of course, had made the final in 2019, didn't quite make that final again this year, losing a lot of points. And the 10th spot, Roberto Batista Agu, he's dropped down to number 14, dropping four spots after again not making the semi-finals that he made two years ago at Wimbledon, losing a lot of points. And Denis Shapovalov gets back in the top 10, up two spots from last week after getting to the semi-finals of Wimbledon, eventually losing to Djokovic. Heading over to the race to the finals, the race to the ATP finals in Turin this year. And no changes at the top with Novak Djokovic staying at number one. The final City Pass staying at number two. But Matteo Berrettini, he has bumped down the likes of Rublev, Zverev, and Rafa to take the number three spot after making the final of Wimbledon. He's gone up four spots higher than last week. As I said, Rublev's gone down one spot to number four. Zverev down to number five. Medvedev stays solid at number six. And Rafa's gone down two spots to number seven after not playing Wimbledon at all. And Hubie Hercatch, after making the semifinals of Wimbledon last week, he's back into the top eight and back into the race to Turin, going up three spots higher than last week. Bumping down Karatsev, who's at number nine. Denis Shapovalov, after making that semifinal, he's gone up 12 spots and now is in contention to make his first ATP finals. He's at number 10, bumping out the likes of Rud and Sinner, who were both featured in the top 10 before Wimbledon. Some of the players that have gone up in the men's rankings, the ATP rankings, Hubie Hercatch, he's at a career 
Anaheim, number 11. He is knocking on the door of the top 10 after making a semi-final of a Grand Slam for the first time last week. He's gone up seven spots higher than last week. And also Martin Fucevic, he's gone up nine spots after making the quarterfinals of Wimbledon, eventually losing to Djokovic. He's gone up to 39 in the world, which is a huge jump for him. Some of the players that have gone down in the rankings, we have Kane Nishikori. He's gone down 14 spots to number 67 in the world after losing early at Wimbledon this year, losing a lot of points from the quarterfinals that he made in 2019. And also Sam Querrey, he's also dropped 14 spots down to number 68 in the world. Again, just like Nishikori, failing to defend the points that he made back in 2019. He made the quarterfinals back in 2019 and couldn't get there again this year. So there's the rankings for the week and it's starting to shape up now. The ATP and the WTA finals, they're starting to take a little bit of shape. Let me know down in the comments below, who are you most excited for going up in the rankings? I'm excited for Berrettini. He's really proving that he's a top 10 player this year and not just on the main rankings because we know he does have a lot of points to defend towards the end of the year. But you've also got to take a look at the A to B finals because he's number three in the race to the finals. He's also made a final of Madrid. He won Queens Club and now the final of Wimbledon. He's really shaping up to make his second appearance at the ATP finals. Also the women's as well. Very interested to see Serena drop down so low. We'll be interested to see if she can make a comeback towards the end of the year, maybe during the US Open series. So the rankings for this week, we have some career high rankings from some really good players who did well at Wimbledon last week.